Let's move on to 1.6, the law of gravitation. And uh, I realized in the last couple of videos I forgot to create some questions for you to guide you. So the first one is where does G come from? Okay, little g, as in um, F equals mg. Where does that that value that value come from? The second one is compare the gravitational strength between two iron spheres. That should be an S there. Two iron spheres. The gravitational strength between those two iron spheres that we discuss, we will discuss. And the gravitational force of Earth. Earth on one of those spheres. Compare those two forces. Okay. Alright, so what is this law of gravitation well it's any it's it's a universal law of attraction between two bodies mass 1 and mass 2 okay so this force between the two bodies is equal to g which is our universal gravitational constant okay by the way if you want to know where they found this and or how they measured it uh, you can check out these videos on YouTube, Cavendish Experiments, 60 Symbols. Or if you've got access to my other videos on Physics 1032, you can go look at this Chapter 13.5b, Measuring G. Okay, So this is a universal constant, and uh, they needed to measure it somehow, and this explains how they measured this value of G. Okay, and then of course we have R squared which is just the distance, r is just the distance between these two masses, these two bodies, okay? Um, so this is generally called the universal law of gravitation, but also I'd like to recommend this video by Minute Physics. It's called Our Ignorance About Gravity. And so our assumption is that this this uh, law of gravitation is valid from the very small all the way to the very large. So very small meaning on quantum on the quantum scale, and very large meaning um, black holes. Okay, very large black holes. But actually, what he says is that this is only valid in between these sizes because uh, it doesn't really work. Anyways, you can go see his video. It doesn't really work on the very large scale of black holes and we haven't been able to measure it for very small scales but for all practical purposes for our everyday life even for how objects um, move in galaxies in solar systems uh, the way that we're attracted to the earth etc the moon orbits around the earth the earth orbits around the sun this is very good but it's just an interesting video to see how this equation is not really tested at, or breaks down, perhaps, at these very large scales and very small scales. Okay. So, I spoke about this earlier. If you've got two uh, iron spheres and the diameter is about 100 millimeters, so phi 100 millimeters. Okay, that's the diameter of these two. The gravitational force given by F equals G M1 M2 over R squared, right, if you calculate the mass of these based on the density and the volume, it gives you this. 0 0.000000951 Newton. That is that gravitational force between these two objects. Whereas, if you compare the that gravity well that gravitational force compared to say this is earth then the gravitational force that earth applies to that object is 37.1 newton right so compare these okay um yeah that's all that i wanted to speak about there so we oh then thank goodness i've got those questions where does G come from? Okay, so if we're on the Earth, if we're on the Earth, then our weight is given by mg, or the, for, the gravitational force that Earth attracts us with is, is mg. Where does it come from? Well, 
F equals G. And say now we've got the mass of the Earth and the mass of U. U divided by R squared. Then that G is simply this. Okay? The gravitational constant times the mass of the Earth divided by essentially the radius of the Earth. Okay? So perhaps there's some slight error, but this will give us this 9.81. Okay? All right. Um, that's good enough. Cheers.